Now is 6.33 and in just a couple hours, nearly 12,000 students in the Tiger Tualatin School District going back to school for their third or second day of school, depending on the grade. Maybe you're getting a little more into that school day routine <laughs> now. Maybe it still feels a little early. Emma Jerome is live at Tiger High School this morning with more on what students and families can expect this year. Emma? Hey, good morning, Travis. Good morning, Emily. I'm here bright and early at Tiger High School down in Washington County, and I'm joined by Principal Melissa Barron of Tiger High School and ASB President Julie, who woke up early to be with us. So thank you both for being with me this morning and for talking about back to school. And Melissa, if we're talking about new things in the district, you're one of them. I'm one of them. It's fantastic. I have the opportunity to serve here as the principal and it has been such a huge honor. It's been an amazing start to the school year. Our staff came in about a week and a half ago and just so excited to have a normal maybe year <laughs> for, the, for the first time in a really long time. So I'm, I'm happy to be here and so excited. Absolutely. Hoping normal is something that maintains and Julie, you kind of run the show from the student side of things. <laughs> so talk to me about what you're hearing from your peers what you're feeling and what's exciting about this new year. Yeah, I think definitely the graduating class is really excited for a more normal year, as well as having Ms. Barron as our leadership teacher is really impactful because she the, is the principal, so that direct line of communication is there and also the connection with the student body, so I'm really excited for that. Mm -hmm. You're the leadership principal here? I or am leadership teacher leadership here at school? Leadership teacher this year. So, um, yeah, I'm going to teach a class. I'm also going to be a principal and teach a class. And so I, we had this long conversation about the importance of really helping our students develop authentic leadership skills. And so what better way than for me as the leader of the school to be working directly with them every day. So mm -hmm. that's what I'm doing. Why is it important, I guess, a question for both of you to have that really direct line of communication just to have a teacher in the classroom as well as behind those doors. What does that really mean for the student body here? I think a lot of our events were hard to communicate with admin, but that's just because they had a lot of things to do. So having Ms. Barron here, that connection and her being able to say yes or no directly is really important as well as just having that commun like that connection with admin really closely. I think that's very important. Absolutely. I think that's probably of the most important to be able to communicate because we learn so much from our students as much as they learn from our teachers. And then Melissa, uh, what are you most excited for for this year? What is like a goal you have for the high school? Yeah. One of my biggest goals is for us just to build really strong relationships. Uh, we all know coming out of COVID that one of the things we lost was the opportunity to connect in an authentic way. And so for me, it's about being in classrooms, connecting with kids, connecting with the adults and helping inspire our teachers to do the same thing for our kids. So that's what I'm most excited about. Well, with a passion like that, I can't imagine that it's going to go wrong. Congratulations on your first year. Again, thank you both for waking up. Maybe you'll catch a nap sometime <laughs> before school starts this morning. But yeah, all students are back in the Tiger Tualatin School District this week. It's going to be a great year, I can already tell. Back mm. to you. Everyone's been very excited that you've talked to this week about getting back to class. Yes, also that uh, return to, to normalcy, it seems right. like. You've heard that a lot throughout the week as well. Emma, thank mm -hmm. you. Also pretty rare to see a principal teaching a class. I know, that's kind of cool. Pretty cool. It's kind of a busy year. Yeah. Well, looking ahead, a longtime military gear and outdoor store is closed.